I'm anticipating a whole bunch of interest on this 350Z wrap. Uh, just because a lot of people love 350Zs, one of the best uh, kind of drift cars out there other than the 240s, I think. And um, they actually look pretty nice uh, if you get a spoiler and lower it and get the wheels on it. So um, I'm going to do a detailed tutorial on how to wrap each one of these panels. Um, so it's going to be broken out into uh, several episodes focusing on uh, certain panels. So um, on this one, I'm going to show you how you prep the whole side of the car um, to do this. So uh, here we go. Let me show you. Okay, so prepping is number one. Um, the surface must be really good. Um, if you can feel a difference when you touch it, then you can see it translate to the wrap. So the wrap is only as good as the surface in which you are sticking it to. Um, flaking paint, anything like that, is, or dirt is a no-no. So right here on this particular panel, there was some, um, some paint issues like this. So I have sanded this all down, and uh, even though it's a little rusty here, you won't be able to see that part because it will, um, it's nice and smooth, and you can just wrap right over that. You don't, you don't feel a difference in this transition, okay? You can hit it with some primer too, if you like, just to make it extra secure against uh, rust, but I've done this on my car, and I don't see any issue so far. They've been parked outside, <clears throat> okay? So that's up to you here. The 350Z is very nice. It is only 30 inches from the top all the way to the bottom. Not including this little side skirt thing right there in black. Not including that. So that's going to have to be cut out in a separate piece. But because it's 30 inches, you can take a big old piece. Wrap is 5 feet tall, which is 60 inches. You can split that piece in half run all the way from the front to the back of the car and walk over here and see. And that's what I just did. I took a, I think it was um, like 160 inches or so, but I don't know, measure it out. And um, you go from the back all the way to the front with a nice leading, uh, almost like half a foot extra so that when you cut like this, you're, you're not cutting yourself short. So. Here to here, this piece has a has a uh, an extra place to grab onto about that much on each end, and so is this piece on the door about an inch or an inch and a half, two inches preferably if you're new, and then this uh, front piece here, and you you want to cut the wheels out so that it doesn't. Okay, so I moved the wrap point. back away from the workspace, and the stock fender is actually quite easy. Um, if you uh, plan it out right and set it up correctly, it should be a piece of cake. You don't have to keep lifting it up. So you notice how on this one, it's not a very flat uh, fender and it kind of bows out like this right here. So what you want to do is um, you're going to want to set all of this first uh, from here, like this general area, and then use this body line right here as an anchor point. Um, you want to pull really hard that way towards the front of the car and that way towards the back of the car so that you get uh, horizontal lines in your um, in your wrap so you set up your wrinkles if you can't do if you can do it without wrinkles great but if you're only by yourself then you probably will end up getting wrinkles um, with one person getting wrinkles this way horizontally on this panel is ideal at the first because then you can pull it from the grab it up here and then pull it that way and then grab it down here uh, pop it out a little bit and then pull it down so once you get right to to about here um, you should be all set and be able to work it in this section with your palm then you can pull it down past this little symbol right here and then uh, you just heat it up and wrap it over the symbol and then you can uh, cut it out like kind of uh, I'll show you how to cut this out and then tuck it in, okay? So, um, not that hard. These are actually removable, but uh, I don't know how. <laughs> uh, or, you know, this one's kind of loose, but I'm not even gonna mess with it because you can work around this. Um, and besides, this car is red, or this fender is red and the wrap is red, you won't even see it. Now, if this is a white fender, 
then you might have to take this off. Otherwise, you would see a sliver of white if you don't tuck it in correctly. So I'm not going to do this in real time. Plenty of videos out there of real time wrapping. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do what we just discussed in time lapse. So here we go. We'll talk about it um, right after, but watch very closely as I do the time lapse. Okay, so I was a little short. I had to do a little bit of stretching. So to avoid having to do that, you can cut it uh, longer. And then you don't have to deal with the stretching to here part. Because here I had to stretch it to make it um, to this point. But this is the ideal setup in which you want to do if you're by yourself or even if you're with someone else. Now, as you can see here, how all of these wrinkles um, they go horizontal to, or at least semi-horizontal to um, the surface in which you try and lay. So basically, once you have it like this, look what you can do. You just lift that up, and then with a little bit of heat, you can just you can just pull that up, heat that, and it will all straighten out. So like right here, this part you can just lift it up a little bit, and then you pull that way. See that? So just gently pull and then that wrinkle is pretty much gone. You can just push it down with your finger and there it is. Okay. So here you can just do the same thing with any of these wrinkles. You want to do this with a little bit of heat. Don't, I'm not going to pull, pull on it like I, uh, like I want to, because if you pull on it hard when it's this taut, you can rip it. But basically, that's that's all you do, guys. Is, uh, you work this section, then you work that section, all these wrinkles out. Heat, pull up, heat, pull down. That's basically it. Once you have everything squeegee, then you cut. Okay, so here is how it's supposed to look when it's done. This piece was a little hard. Definitely when you got to here, it started to kind of like want to lift back this way. So you really have to like heat it up really nicely. And I, I don't know if you guys can see in the uh, time lapse, I was able to like slowly use my palm to just work it this way and then work it down this way. And then once you get to here, it starts to bunch up real good. Um, you. You want to just bring it out like out to this angle and then you heat it up and then you pull it down over so it, it's going to want to fold up like this but if you heat and pull it down over it will it will lay smoothly and then you'll get some wrinkles going this way <clears throat> on the fender don't worry about those um like right about here heat it up and you see how these lines so these lines used to connect you just heat it up and then you you reach under and you pull back. Make sure your hands are clean because you're right by the tire. Um, other than that, it starts to lift up down here. If you cut right here, uh, or if you cut this a little shorter, it will lose some tension. So you have to put a magnet down here so that um, it stays and then you can heat this area and then work it, work that back. So once you get over to here, where the door outline is, you're good. And up here, just like that, you're good there too, right? You just need to make it over this, this body line here. You're gonna cut all along this edge on the opposite side, just right. And then here, you're gonna want to cut, kind of like uh, cut it short, lift it up, and then cut it like right here, um, but not on the light. So just lift it and then cut with your other hand. And then you can just use your squeegee to tuck it in. Once you're fully tucked and there's no tension, you heat it up, then you cut along the edge of the light. Um, 
This is the only other hard part. You're gonna want to, I started very conservatively to just cut like right around the Z, right? Then I heated it up so I can see where my limit is. So the you gotta tuck it into there, right? So with this much lead, you can do it. You just heat it up and then uh, you use like a little plastic tool or uh, you know, the edge of this. Pull it back with your finger. You have to very lightly while it's, while it's hot and then you relieve all this tension and you just tuck it in all around. Then you can cut it off if you can't tuck all this in, but you should be able to tuck all this in with the way this symbol is. All right, guys. So that pretty much concludes it for how to wrap a front fender on a 350Z. Look at the way this color looks. It's freaking beautiful. Don't mind my fingerprints. <laughs> but look at that candy, like red color. This is gloss aluminum red by Tech Wrap. This material is very nice. Unlike 3M, where 3M will probably snap on you because it's so damn cold outside when you try to do this. When you do that, it, it will probably snap on you right here unless it's hot. Uh, so you have to heat up 3M if you're going to do it right there. But Avery or Tech Wrap, you can do that just fine. Uh, even in like super cold weather, but it's better heat regardless. Okay, guys, back on the time lapse. I'm going to finish this up. Okay, y'all, here it is. All done. Look at how nice that thing is. Jesus, I love Tech Wrap. It's so easy to work with. The finish is so nice. This is like a candy red. And man, look, look at how it shifts. So gorgeous. I am definitely doing my MR2 in this red. The curves, it, it works so good on the curves, how it like goes from black into red. Just like that. Look at that. Man, that's so nice. So basically, um, you want to really tuck hard and cut. So you tuck it all the way back into there and then cut a little extra. And then you just wrap around, you heat it up, and it's all done. So there it is, guys. Front fender is complete. All right, complete. guys. So that concludes this episode of how to wrap your 350Z. Um, the front fender. Look how nice it looks. Out. Just, just right there. I'm so happy with this color. This is such an amazing color. Holy cow, especially when like you got such curvy surfaces like this. The whole car is going to look amazing. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And um, spread the word. <laughs> Tell your Z buddies um, to watch this. Um, tune in for the next episode when I do the back, the, the side door and the um, back quarter panel. So... Stay tuned for that.